Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Fulton Beach Road, right in front of the Contiki Beach Resort. It's a very nice day here in Rockport, Texas. 77 degrees. The wind is 16 miles an hour out of the south. That's going to keep me nice and cool today. There's a casita. I saw a casita at the uh, beach yesterday at Rockport Beach. Woke up this morning in the Wally World parking lot. And within a minute, someone was panhandling from me. Someone was attempting to panhandle me from, from me. Attention all panhandlers. I'm 60 years old. I've heard every story in the world. The story doesn't work. If you just ask me for money, I might give you some. Once you start in on the story, and I know you're lying and wasting my day, you get nothing. One time I was out in uh, Long Beach, California, and I was going into a liquor store, and a guy asked me if he could have two dollars so he could buy beer and that guy got his two dollars <laughs> I always the the most recent sob story that I've gotten five or six times is I need gas money to get back to San Antonio well every time I've gone to San Antonio I never went unless I had gas money to get back so just a little bit of planning I live in my truck. That was actually a plan. <laughs> live in my truck full time. Say it with me guys, three years and nine months. It's like a prison sentence. I uh, make little X's on the wall. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous view. I boondock. No electricity, no running water. Unless it's raining, of course. How do I spend my days? I stare at the water. I read. I pick up other people's trash. I feed wildlife. Specifically those that you're not allowed to feed. Those are my favorite. <laughs> I do have some bird seed that I need to distribute. So maybe back in the woods next time we go over to Goose Island. I also have cat food. We need to feed the cats over there in Lamar. And uh, bird seed. I wanted to thank my buddy Mike. Mike sent me some more of those uh, peak meals and mountain house meals. And uh, something else really cool that will be in tomorrow morning's video. Just a little gadget that I didn't know I needed. Now that I have it, I definitely needed it. So thank you, Mike. Got a joke this morning from my friend Lorraine. It's horrible. Are you ready for it? <laughs> I'm going to let this biker guy pass so he doesn't think we're too crazy. That looks relaxing right there. Look at that with the lawn chair. Good morning. It's a lady. Good morning, lady. Is that a swing set there? Oh, how neat. Like a little hammock thing. Perfect spot. It almost feels like a sunset this morning. I mean, look at that sky, guys. Let me check my... Look at that sky. The sun's up there somewhere. Somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Can't really tell if the camera's getting it or not. went to a restaurant and I ordered a coke the server asked me if I wanted it in the can I said mm, no right here at the table is just fine <laughs> thank you Lorraine <laughs> Lorraine you should do a ride along with me one day I'll kick Greg right out of this truck and you can you can hop in and give us a tour
I'm loving this sky. Yeah, when the sun came up, it was a uh, little bit of reds and um, sunny. And then this cloud cover kind of moved in, which is fine with me. I have not even like washed or anything today. My goal was to get out of the truck and use the restroom. Once I was out of the truck, I realized I didn't have to use the restroom. Uh, when, when you boondock, uh, you spend a good portion of your day planning where the nearest restroom is. Especially when you're 16, you've had your gall, uh, gallbladder removed. I've also had the part removed that lets you pronounce words correctly. A small stream of water is indeed a crick, is not a creek. Water is water. Sometimes we look at the Gulf of Mexico. And if that bothers you, fortunately there's about 8 million other channels on YouTube. Probably more than that. If you think of it, guys, go to my community page. My friend Jamie Macon, who does the wonderful train videos and some other things on her channel, is so close to a thousand subscribers. And I would appreciate it if you would go subscribe to Jamie's channel. She's been a good friend to me and very supportive and makes very good videos. She does a lot with um, older steam engines in uh, northeast Pennsylvania, but she also gets out and does other things. So that's always good. What's my rant on today? Sirius XM Radio. Sirius XM Radio, which I've always enjoyed. So it's nothing against the actual product. Good morning. morning. I got a good morning from that nice lady. Here comes a truck way behind me. I think he's just out for a slow Sunday drive too. So let's pull over here and let them go by. And we can look at the water a little more. Once they go by, we'll... Uh, continue with the drive and my very amusing witty antidote about Sirius okay there's those windswept trees I like to show them but it just shows you the constant wind coming off the water we'll do that to the trees one day I need to drive north on this road instead of south so we can see all the houses and all on the left I've probably done that once in four years so yes two days ago uh, I was getting Sirius satellite radio the premium package for $4.99 plus taxes so it was about roughly let's say eight dollars a month a little bit less than that, seven something. And I was able to listen to any NHL game, any baseball game. Let me pull over, Here comes a car. So they can pass by. They got it right away, good job. Good job, everyone. Good job, group hug. And uh, I was all excited about catching as many Flyers games and Ottawa Senators games as I could. Uh, I could listen to the Philadelphia Eagles game. I could listen to the Phillies games um, from Philadelphia. And sometimes I would just listen to whatever game was on, you know. And I listened to uh, CNN and Fox News and NPR and uh, then they have all their music stations. I listened to Howard Stern. I was real excited. He's having Bruce Springsteen live, uh, doing an interview and live songs. So I was looking forward to that. And uh, whatever plan I had at $4.99, I looked on my um, credit card and it had gone up to like 
$26.98. And money's too tight right now to be paying that much. As much as I love the actual product, I was like, no, you know, let's just cancel. So when you, whenever I've called up to cancel series in the past, they always offer you a lower, a lower price. And um, I called and after about 30 minutes of getting jerked around, they offered me the same service, the same uh, products, for the same price, $4.99. Okay, cool. That was actually worth a half hour. I listen to Sirius all the time, especially now because my phone is tied up all day with either making videos or watching my friend's videos. And it's nice to have that second option that doesn't tie up my phone, you know? And I took care of that two days ago and I listened to Sirius in, in the car yesterday and uh, no problems, everything's working good. And when I went to cook dinner last night, I wanted to listen to a hockey game. I waited until uh, game time so I could cook my food and listen to the game and enjoy dinner. And the all the hockey network was off my phone the ability to listen to each individual sports team was off my phone so I didn't like that at all I felt I was lied to again by Sirius Satellite Radio I've had I've had this same issue in the past where you call up and they they'll tell you they'll do one thing and they don't and um, after getting put through the runner for about 20 minutes, they finally canceled my subscription. And <clears throat> although there are things I will miss about it, I won't miss getting billed every month for it. And like I said, as tight as money is, that's a very good thing. Private doc. And I forgot how good just free radio can be because especially our country station in Corpus, they give you all the local events. They tell you who's going to be playing where and even the commercials are ads for interesting things, you know? Just different restaurants and some of them are new to me and current events and things like that so I think that's actually a good change and um, I don't pay any if anything like I don't pay for Netflix I don't pay for anything like that I do pay for uh, YouTube premium which is still supposed to pay the creator, but uh, you don't have to sit through commercials. So when I watch YouTube and I watch my friends' videos, there's no commercials. Now, I don't know if that's true or not as far as the creators still get paid because... When I see a breakdown of what they're paying me, I'm going to say premium pays about less than 1 20th, maybe more like 1 22nd of what's going on. Good morning. Had a traffic jam, had a, had a walker, a bike in me. So I hope all this time that I'm putting in watching my friends videos is putting some money in their pocket if they're monetized and uh, gives them full views and all that kind of YouTube stuff and that's the only thing I pay for and that does include YouTube music which is nice 
My problem with YouTube music is it's on my phone and I'm always using my phone for something else, so. I had a tablet Adventuring Art gave me and I can't get it to accept Wi-Fi. It won't accept the, any of the Wi-Fi's. I can't log on to anything. I can't even run it off my phone. So, I don't know what I can do about that. I've tried resetting it and that's just not working. But, I'm done, at least for now, with Sirius XM. And Sirius XM is great, especially when you're on like a road trip and you're out in Texas in the middle of nowhere and there's not even any radio stations. But you know what? Let me get my finger out of there, guys. I kind of like, I can always find some type of religious channel, no matter where I'm at. No matter if nothing else comes in, you can always get that one old-timey religious channel that every area has. And that's always neat. Guys, that was my controlled rant. I didn't let my coffee kick in. Thanks for riding along today. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.